Right, so this example on page six has been another relatively simple example about linear independence. Linear independence. Right, so the example goes like this. You be given three vectors, A, B, C, and we given that they are linearly independent. Uh, basing on these three, example gives us another four vectors, all of them in the, in the example there. One of them is P, it's A plus B. The other one is Q, which is B take C. Next one is R, which is A take B plus C. And the last one is S, like this. All of this comes from the example, it's all there. Uh, the question is, we have to see that the, this set of four vectors, in fact, linearly dependent. I'm not really sure if I'm not really sure if the example is is stated in exactly these terms, but effectively this is this is that what what is said there. We're given three vectors linearly independent. We come we build another four basing on those three. By the way, using this advanced language, we can say this is a linear combination. This is a linear combination. It's a linear combination with the proper coefficient. So we build another four vectors which are linear combinations of my three, and we have to see that this this new these new four vectors, they are linearly dependent. Uh, yes. In, and that might happen actually for vectors of any size. So these vectors, we don't specify from which R n they're coming from. It's true for any vectors of any dimension. So let's just, we do it by definition. Or we just look at the definition. What we should do? We should take a linear combination of these four vectors and see if we can produce such a combination, which on one hand is zero, on the other hand, not every coefficient in that combination is zero, right? So here we go. I take the linear combination of these four vectors with some coefficients yet unknown, and this time I call them x, y, z. All of them real numbers. All of them real numbers. So we assume that this combination is zero. Our job is, the actual job in the question, to see if I can find that this coefficients x, y, z, and w, not all of them being zero. And still this happens. The question is more about the concept, actually. The actual arithmetic is relatively simple. Look what I will do. I replace p, q, r, and s with the expressions I have for them. Here. That's the replacement x times, that's the replacement for p. That's the replacement for q, here it is, p take s, b, b take c, sorry. Replacement for r, it's a longer one, three components involved there, a take b plus c, that's the replacement. And the final one, that's the replacement for s. It's a Rather, well, it's a routine step. We just replaced everything. Uh, what do you think will be the next step? Or rearrange the better. Like, like we combine the A, B, C vectors and like, like just all the coefficients of A, all the coefficients of B, all the coefficients of C. That's the combination. Look at this. A vector comes with the coefficient X here and with the coefficient Z here. That's all appearance of the A vector. So the combined coefficient of A will be this. B vector comes, how many times B comes? Look at this. It comes with this X, it comes with this Y, it comes with this negative Z, and it comes with this W. Four times B appears. So if I combine all of these coefficients of B, it will be X plus X plus Y take Z plus W, and that's my B term. C, vector C appears here with a negative Y, and appears here with the positive Z, and appears here with the one half of w, so the combined bracket in front of w vector, sorry, in front of c vector, is this one. So, so far, just simple arithmetic with vectors. What do you think we should do next? What, what, what do you think we should say next? That's why we equate everything to zero. We equate this coefficient to zero. We equate this coefficient to zero. We equate this coefficient to zero. And we're now looking at the system of three linear equations with, with four unknowns. And the question is, remember, we need to see if we, 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 we will be able to produce a solution to this system with not every unknown being zero. If we can find at least one solution, one will do. With not every unknown being zero, then this will happen. With not every coefficient being zero. 
Well, we will study the way how to solve system of equations later in full details. Here, my ad hoc solution will be, because we're looking for the solution which is non-zero, I can just just say that I will, I will take W being 2. This, if you plug this 2 in here, you can probably finish it without my help. I'll just give you the, what the answer will be. If you finish solving it with this extra assumption that W is 2, you, you will find the solution x equal negative 3, z equal 3, y equal 4, and W equal 2.